Hi, people. How's everyone doing? Hi. I'm good. How are you? Oh my gosh, all caps. That's really aggressive. Um, hey, what's up? I'm sitting here in my living room, which has all been, all my, all my cupboards are in my living room right now, because we had a slight flood in my apartment, but you know, just hanging out, it's good. David, hi, David, so good to see ya on here, um, hi from Nigeria, oh my gosh, hi, hi from England, hi, I'm British, obviously not, like, fully British, not cool British, but, you know, partly British, British citizen, that's enough, oh my god, Kate, hi, hi Kate, loved your lip sync, guys, I really appreciate that you embrace, uh, what a loser I am, and let me be a full-blown nerd, um, I really appreciate that, I like that you, you've, um, embrace that part of me, because it's like 95% of me, um, long time no see, hi, how are you, oh my god, I still have your, um, Star Wars, like Shakespeare Star Wars book, <laughs> and someone saw it the other day and thought it was really cool, and I was like, that's not mine, I stole it from someone years ago, um, hi, hi Nick, I see ya, what's up, hi Brian, he from Germany. Ryan's laughing at me already. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm very good. You guys are very sweet. Um, yeah, I'm good. I, I would, last weekend, I think. No, the weekend before last weekend was in Vancouver for the premiere of Level 16. That was great. Um, some of those girls are on here right now. Hello. Love you guys. Um, and thank you guys for being so supportive about that film. It was really good to see it for the first time. That was the first time I ever saw it. How weird is that? We shot that a year ago. I didn't see it. They premiered in Texas. Didn't see it. Ninka! Hi, Ninka! Greg! My favorite. Guys, why are all my, my, these are like my people on this live right now. Hi, Greg. Slovenia. Where is that? I was, I, I was really terrible at geography. You're going to have to help me out. Where is that? Argentina. Hi. Oh, I love Brian. Of course. Hi from Spain. Ah! Ah! Rob! Hi, Rob! Poland. Hi from Argentina. Hi. How are you guys feeling? How are you feeling about all this? Everything. I feel like... You guys have bizarre information about 3B. You know? What do you guys know? What are you excited for? What are you excited to see? I met RJ about a month ago. Told me to tell you hi. Can't remember the nickname he told, told me to call you. Probably Booger Butt or something. He calls me really weird names. Um, <laughs> I love that, though. Can't remember the nickname. I'm going to... I'll ask him. I miss Shadowhunters and really want to see you in it already. Yeah, I'm anxious to see it too. It's odd to think that, like, because I remember when we were filming it, like, the Halloween episode was supposed to be airing, was supposed to be airing this month, and it's not. Like, it was already supposed to be partway through, almost halfway through now, 3B, and nothing. It's a little odd to think that, that it was supposed to start in August, um... Yeah, it's just bizarre, because now it feels so long ago that we've that we filmed it. Um, so I'm anxious to see it too, guys. I, I've seen nothing of it. I've seen little pieces in ADR, um, but very, very little pieces. So I, I have no idea what it looks like either. I'm very excited and very anxious to see it too. Um, so I'm in the same boat as you, Greeks from Germany, Slovenia, and Eastern Europe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. I'm feeling frustrated because I can't do eye makeup. 
look, I feel your pain. It's a learning process. I had to really learn. It's hard. But the internet's your best friend. It's tough. Go into, like, I went into, like, Sephora and Mac, and they taught me. True story. It's next to Italy, very small country, only two million people. Huh. I've been to Italy. I did not know that it was next to Italy. That's fascinating. I'm going to go look at them. That's interesting. I like said for everything and everyone, we don't know enough. Did you take anything from set? Yes, I did. Um, I wanted to take more, but I'm very rule-abiding, and I got anxious. I didn't want to steal things. And then I, like, asked who I should ask to steal things, and then they were like, well, we're selling everything in the auction, so you can't really steal things. So then I didn't. But Brian... Um, allowed me graciously to steal a whole ton whack of runes from the makeup trailer. So I have a bunch of runes. Um, Wardrobe let me steal some of my jewelry that I wore for like the last day that I was there. Some of the jewelry I have. I have um, like a lip gloss, like weird things, like random little things that I wore um, that were mine. They let me keep. Um, But I don't have any like Props. No. I wanted to, but I was scared. <laughs> I'm very I'm very law abiding. Maybe in a little early three bearing and getting a new season. Maybe. I wanna go visit that world, see what it's like. Are you in a fight scene in three B? Yeah. I'm not gonna say too much, but yeah. What mascara do you use? I, uh, what's it called? It's by Benefit. It's the black one, the new one. I don't know what it's called. Guys, I don't know enough about makeup. I went into Sephora and they told me to buy this mascara, so I did. I'm a sheep. But that's it. Come to Uruguay. I'll come wherever. I'll come. I want to see the world. I know, I know, (laughs) whoever's laughing at me, I know Italy is a big, like, guys, I know Italy is not the same, but I'm saying I didn't, I was in Italy, and I didn't know the country right next to Italy, and that makes me feel stupid, so there you go, but I appreciate that you think I'm that stupid, that I thought Italy had two million people, so whoever you are, I'm giving you side eye right now, um, oh, Trump is from there, if that rings new bells, it's a really beautiful country with a lot of nature. <laughs> that does, that clarifies a lot, thank you. A lot of nature, I, that sounds great. I want some runes, I have so many runes, so many runes. Tell me something about cat that nobody knows. I don't think that's really mine to divulge. Also, I'm not sure that there's anything that I know about cat that nobody knows, I don't know. I don't know what people know about cat. But I'm not here to spill secrets about people, about my friends. So excited to see you as Helen when I reread I picture you now. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. That's so sweet. I was I was worried that maybe you guys would be um, concerned about my casting because I know in the books she's described as, you know, having not brown eyes. Um, so I was I was a little worried about how you guys would feel about that. Um, but you guys have all been really welcoming, and, um, that's awesome. I'm really grateful for that. I, I appreciate that you guys have, have let me, um, take Helen to be my own. Any scenes with Simon? Yeah. Uh, hi, 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 how are you? I'm good. Okay, I have a question. I'm gonna be playing Balu in the Jungle Book for my drama class, and I need to try to remember my lines. Do you have any advice? This is super weird. But when I first started, and I had trouble remembering lines, um, one of my acting teachers told me to learn my lines while doing, like, cardio. So I would learn my lines while, like, running or doing, like, sit-ups or something, doing physical activity, especially if you're someone that has, like, stage fright or something, if you get anxious. Uh, Because if you learn your lines with your heart rate up, a lot of the people, they learn their lines, and then, like, when they get on stage or they get on set or wherever, then they get anxious, their heart rate goes up, and then, like, the lines fall out of their head. Um, so if you learn your lines with your heart rate up, then when you get nervous and your heart rate goes up, 
it's fine. You're in the same state that you learn them, and you'll you're more likely to remember them. Um, it's also like just muscle memory. So that was how I first started learning lines, and then I just got better and better at it. So now it's not really a problem. But that would be my recommendation: is try and learn your lines like while doing some physical activity, and hopefully that will help. Uh, are you still in touch with any of the Shadowhunters guests? Yeah, I still talk to Kat. Um, um, Kim a lot. I talk to Kim a lot. Um, oh, someone, I can't say that. Um, uh, yeah, Luke. Touch them. Yeah, I would come, I would, I would love to come to Italy for, um, any of the conventions that you guys have there. I love that there's so many conventions in Italy. That's really cool. You guys are amazing and super supportive of the show. Um, yeah, if I am, if I am invited to any of the conventions in Italy, I will absolutely come. I would love that. That sounds amazing. Um, hi, I just arrived. What did you miss? Someone, someone felt them in. <laughs> Answer that. Oh no, we're back to this. Um, thank you guys. Hi from Spain. Hi. Do you have a bucket list? No, I don't really believe in bucket lists. I'm a little weird. I don't really believe in like bucket lists or like New Year's resolutions or any of that. I think you should just like live every day as if like that's that's it. You should just be in the moment and. Um, live every day to the fullest, so I don't really believe in those things. Kind of odd, but I don't, yeah, I don't want to set, like, arbitrary endpoints for myself, or like, oh, I'm waiting till this day to set new goals for myself, or whatever. I, I just don't really believe in that. It's kind of odd. What about scenes with Aileen? Obviously, Helena scenes with Aileen. I don't know what I can and can't say about them, but I think you guys are going to really love them. I really love them. They're, yeah, close to my heart. I can't answer that. What's your favorite part about playing Helen? Um, Helen's amazing. When I read the books, I loved Helen. Um, she's so well-rounded. I think it's such a strong female character. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's really great, especially now, to, um, to see these types of characters being portrayed, like, a strong bisexual character who is, like, completely fine with who she is and is, you know, um, sensitive and funny and a warrior and, uh, loyal and, you know, a, such a family, family woman and intelligent and, you know, she's just got a bit of everything, like, she doesn't need to fit in a box, I think that's really cool, um, so it was nice to play that because there's so many like one dimensional female characters and Helen is not that at all. Um, so it was fun. It was really cool to play that and take my own spin on it because there's so many different directions you can go with Helen because she is so many things and it was really nice to get to explore that um, and explore her relationship with Aileen. How many languages can you speak? Guys, one. <laughs> I don't have any other abilities. I speak English. That's it. Uh, we learned French in school, but I don't use it ever. And we learned Québécois French, not like France French. What's your favorite episode? I think the finale is incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Can't answer that. Thank you. Um, fave cast member to work with in Shadowhunters. I love them all so much. From an acting standpoint, I have to say Alberto. Because uh, my first episode on the show, my first day, I had scenes with Alberto. And I was incredibly nervous. Um... And he was just a really, really incredible supportive scene partner and, like, was so there for me. Um, and just really, really supportive and positive and um, 
you know, we were on a bit of a time crunch, and it was just you know, a really hectic day, and I, and I was pretty nervous about not screwing up, and he, he was very there for me, um, and just a really amazing scene partner, really generous with his time and his energy, and, you know, even when it's not his coverage, he's he always so there and asking what he can do for me, and so working with him was uh, just amazing, and especially uh, on my first day, um, so... I would say he was, that was, that was pretty special. I can't answer that, guys. Uh, favorite character in the show, besides my own character, is definitely Maya. Um, I think Maya's amazing. So, so strong. Um, yeah, strong and smart and sensitive and kick-ass, and I just absolutely love Maya. I think she's amazing. Um, and Alicia is absolutely incredible in the role. I think she yeah, kills it, so... Can't answer that. Can't answer that. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that's a convention, but I don't know what that means. So, yeah. Hi from Denmark. Hi. Korea. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Do you ever go to the UK? Um... Now and then, yeah. Uh, my mom is from England, so I'm, I'm a British citizen. So I've been, and we've uh, done, like, all of Europe, basically. Um, I haven't been in a while, but I plan to go back soon, so, yeah. How do I feel about the Save Shadowhunters campaign? You guys are incredible. I've never seen anything like what you guys have done. It's mind-blowing that you have spent so much time and energy and love and passion um, trying to save our show. It's It's amazing and that you guys have not only like just for the show but what you've done for the Trevor project um in the name of our show that you guys are doing it in a socially conscious way um raising money for things that matter and that you know raise that speak to the voice of our show um in the name of our show that I mean that's incredible and and it's an honor and um to be a part of a show that has inspired that in in some small way it's it's so humbling. Like, it's it's absolutely incredible what you guys have done, and I can't thank you enough. It's um, it's pretty special. I, I, I've never... No other show has inspired um, that kind of action from their fans that I've seen. So it's, it's unreal. Hi, hi. Hi from France. Hi. Chemistry exam tomorrow. Good luck. Go study. Good luck. You're going to kill it. How do you live every day to the fullest when you have anxiety? Teach me in your ways. Um, I get it. It's hard. You have to... Um, that's a tough... That's tough. Um, I've been there. You have to... It, it's it's small steps every day, understanding that um, it's, it's a choice and um, what's best for you and what are you capable of and the life that you want is within your reach and you know everything that you're choosing to be a part of you should be happy with and so um if you're in situations that you're not happy with change them and um if you're anxious you know find your own coping mechanisms but um surround yourself with people that are supportive and and just do one thing a day baby steps like one thing a day that makes you really happy or makes you calm or gives you peace or you know it's it's not going to happen all at once it's a process um but you know it, it's starting to put yourself first too in little ways and know that like your happiness is important and um yeah care about yourself and and self-love and take some time to understand what it is you really want and and go get it and, and know that it's okay to ask for what you want and that's fine you're not being selfish by doing that were you surprised at the immediate attention and welcome to shadow fam uh yeah i was shocked i was literally in a van home from a set and my phone started beeping like hundreds of times and I had no idea what was happening because I didn't know that I was being announced um and 
I was absolutely shocked. I, you guys, it was so immediate. Um, the love, the wave of love and, and welcomes and that you guys gave me, I was, it, it was unbelievable. It was the most sh shocking, uh, wonderful, it, yeah, I, I, I don't know. You guys are amazing. I did not expect it at all. I, within a couple minutes of me being announced, I had hundreds of messages from you guys welcoming me to the family. It was pretty amazing. Like some of the cast, do you plan to, or have you gotten any permanent runes, rune tattoos? No. Uh, I won't. I, I can't get tattoos. Um, that's, yeah, I won't ever get a tattoo. I can't do that. Um, I would if I could, maybe, but no, I can't. Um, are you okay today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm having a really good day. How are you doing, Stacy? Uh, are you gonna sing for us today? I don't know. No, I can't answer that. I don't know how you guys know these secrets about my life and my work, but I can't answer that. Oh my God, hi! Can't answer that. Hi from Turkey, hi. Do I identify with Helen? Yeah. Um, it's actually funny, I really like, growing up I loved science, I come from a very academic family. Um, so, I really identify with that, I've got siblings, I've got brothers, I, I kind of was raised by like men, so that kind of balance of feminine and masculine energy, I, I really related with her. Um, so I was very excited to have the opportunity to play her, I felt like I, I understood a lot of the aspects of her. Um, and I'm a, I can be a little a little bit of a fighter. I can get a little hot-headed and protective of the people that I love. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of aspects of her that I really relate to. Um, so I was very excited. I, I think she's much cooler than I am, but, you know, something to aim for, I guess. It's a fantasy world, so whatever. Favorite couple... Magnus and I'm like can't answer that. Would you be keen for season four? Where are you from that you say keen? That's not like an American thing. I feel like Australians say that and like British people say that. Um, yes, I would be keen for a season four. Love from Korea. Hi. Are you gonna dress up for his Halloween? Did you have fun with the fight scenes? Did you have trouble with all the leather? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna dress up for his Halloween. I don't do Halloween. I kind of hate Halloween a little bit. I know. Don't yell at me. Um, so I've never done Halloween and I won't do it uh, this year. I had so much fun with the fight scenes. Um, it's amazing. Um, I did not have trouble with all the leather. I don't think I really had that much leather compared to the rest of the people. I don't know what that's about, but no, I didn't. It was cool. Can't answer that. Hi, France. Hi, Italy. Hi, Georgia. Character in three words. Intelligent, loyal, and brave. I do still talk to the cast members, yes. Hi, El Salvador. Who's my favorite male character on the show? Probably Simon. I think Simon's really cool. Yeah. I, I, I like Simon's character a lot. If you don't save this live, no more to go to gifts for you. Whoa, that's a really real threat. You just took that to a dark place. I don't know why you needed to take it to that level. But okay, I see you. I'll save it. Dang. Why can't you get tattoos? I have an autoimmune disease, so I can't um, get tattoos. It's not safe for me. I can't answer that. Stop asking me the question. I can't answer that. <laughs> Uh, 
do you like Mexican food? Yeah, kind of. I think I like fake Mexican food. I don't know if I... I don't really like real Mexican food. I, can't, I don't like, like, spicy... F I don't like sauces. I don't like spicy food. I'm very boring with my food. So I kind of like fake Mexican food, but not real Mexican food, you know? Don't like onions. I'm very... I'm super boring. Please acknowledge my existence. Hi. Hi. I like your monkey emoticon. Do you watch PLL or TVD? I don't know what that means. PLL. Oh, Pretty Little Pretty Little Liars. What's TVD? The vamp The Vampire Diaries. Pretty Little Liars. I watched kind of. Never watched The Vampire Diaries. This is something I need to know for science. <laughs> I love when you guys say, like, for science. How did you feel the first time you saw someone using a picture of you as their Twitter icon? Yo, that was trippy. I, could, I can't... I was shocked. Like, shocked. The first time I got, like, that someone took the time to do a drawing of me or, like, made me their Twitter icon or I was, like, so... I was like, do they know I'm a loser? This person must be confused because I'm so lame. I mean, it's, you guys are so cool. It's amazing. I don't know. It's really, it's, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Any, anytime I see anything like that, I'm always so shocked. I'm, I'm, every time I'm shocked. Like, you guys are friggin' amazing. It's pretty cool. What advice would you give your character and vice versa? really good question. What advice would I give Helen? Um, I'd probably tell Helen to trust her instincts. And she would probably tell me the same. <laughs> probably. Like, just trust your gut more. You know? You know what's going on. You're fine. Have I been to England before? Yes, I have. Would I like to go to conventions? Yeah, I would love to meet you guys and go to conventions. I've never been to a, a convention either, like, as a actor or as a visitor. So I would love to see what that world is like. I don't really know anything about it. I think it's pretty cool, though, and I'd love to see what it's like. Have I read the Harry Potter books? Yeah, of course I have. A long time ago, but yeah. Is there a hair color I've been itching to try out? Do you get recognized quickly, by the way, nice brows? Uh, hair color? No. I didn't eat really blonde is kind of like a stretch for me, but I did it for Helen. Um, do I get recognized quickly? No. I mean, nothing's aired yet, so I don't think people really know. Like, people haven't seen it. Um, I would kind of be shocked if someone did recognize me. Thank you. Got that brow gel in, you know? Are you reading anything right now? Yeah, right now I'm reading um, The Deer Park by Norman Mailer. Um, can you recommend a fave book? My fave books are kind of dark. Uh, Chuck Palahniuk is my favorite author. Um, and uh, Haunted by Him and Invisible Monsters are my favorite by him. And then uh, The Contortionist Handbook by Greg Cleavenger is another one of my favorite books. I really love it. So those are my favorites. They're kind of dark, though. So if you're young, maybe don't read them. I don't know. They're kind of inappropriate. Spoil us, Helen Line. I can't. Yo, I see you. You make me spoil things on the internet all the time. And one of these days, I'm going to get in trouble. Luckily, I haven't yet. But you know I'm weak. And I will spoil things. And I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not going to spoil a Helen Line. Hate onions. Yeah. Thank you. Do I like any other TV shows? Yeah, so many. There's so many good TV shows out there. I'm obsessed. Atypical is so good. I have a friend in Atypical, um, and I think it's friggin' a brilliant show. I binged all of the second season. It's amazing. Um, Patrick Patrick Melrose that came out this year was so good. Really dark again, but super good. Um...
have I been to Belgium? Yeah, I have been to Belgium. It was really good. Really good chocolates in Belgium. We did a chocolate tour in Belgium, and it was amazing. Have I been to France? Yes, I have been to France. Uh, have I been to Scotland? No, I really want to go to Scotland. I'm not saying you should do a cover of Hamilton, but guys, I annoy everybody in my life by listening to Hamilton so much. I sing all of Hamilton all the time. I don't think anyone who knows me wants to hear me sing Hamilton. I really don't. I know you guys want that, but I think I would lose friends if I ever spent any more of my time engaging in, in Hamilton. I spend too much time with Hamilton. Did I see the movie of you hate you give of the hate you give? Not yet. Um, I really want to see it. I read the book. I love the book. I think it's brilliant. Um, so I am going to see the film. Yes. Have you seen it? What did you think? I am very excited to see it. Do you like Stephen King? Honestly, not really. <laughs> I know people love him. Some of his look. Some of his books are great. There are the few like classic Stephen King novels that I think are amazing, but then there's also some of his books that are like this is the thing that annoys me about Stephen King is they're so good, you're so invested and then I feel like his endings are sometimes really terrible, you know what I mean? Like it's just such a disappointment, like Under the Dome I don't know if you've read that book, I remember reading that book and being so invested in it and they're so long and I spent all this time reading this book being so involved in the characters and then the ending was so stupid and I was agitated like if, there's, if it's not a good ending, I'm annoyed. And I feel like Stephen King sometimes doesn't really have good endings. So, Do I like Taylor Swift? Yeah, I love Taylor Swift. Um, I went to the Reputation Stadium tour with um, Kat. Um, and it was amazing. It was She put on such an amazing show. I was really, really impressed, honestly. Like, good honor. I, I had never seen her live before. Um, and I wasn't really expecting it to be as good as it was. I was pretty blown away. Um, we had a really, really good time. So I loved it. As an autistic person, I don't really relate to atypical. Really? That's interesting. Why? What about it is um, not... Not realistic. I, I'm, that's actually very interesting to me. Why? Um, because as far as I know, like that my friend that was on it said that uh, in the second season at least, they tried really hard to have like autistic actors on the show and, and autistic consultants. It was important to them. So, But obviously, I mean, you know better than I do. That's fascinating to me. Um, I know the lead isn't obviously autistic. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Let me, I would love to know your response to that. Let me know. What 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 about it you don't find realistic? Which country or area would you like to most visit? I don't know. I go back and forth. I really want to go to Greece. I'm into places with, like, history. Um, so I'd want to go there. Do you think you'll watch The Truth About the Harry Cuba? Yeah, of course. Tessa is amazing. She's so sweet and so talented, and I, I can't wait to see her performance in it. Are you watching The Good Place? Yep. I watched uh, both seasons. Hi, Brazil. I will definitely come to Edinburgh when I go to Scotland. I will. Do I like traveling? Yeah, I love it. You learn so much. You get to see other people's cultures. and I love that. What do I think of the sound team on Shadowhunters? They're amazing. Everyone on Shadowhunters is amazing. Like, the special effects team, the fight team, the sound team, everybody was just... Everyone's amazing. They do a great job. It, it really makes the show, you know? So, it's pretty special. Have I been to Germany? Yes, I have been to Germany. Your autobahns are terrifying. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> but, cool country. Uh, did I read the books of Cassandra Clare? I read the Shadow I read the Mortal Instruments, Shadow Hunters Mortal Instruments. I haven't read any of her other books. Have you seen A Star Is Born? No, I haven't seen it yet. I loved Under the Dome. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I loved most of it, and then the ending I found really disappointing. I don't know. I, Under the Dome was so good, but the ending really sucked. Yeah, I mean, I just thought it was too, like... It was kind of a cop-out, the ending, but whatever. I don't know. 
That's my opinion. Have I been to Mexico? Yes, I've been to Mexico. <laughs> I love that you just spoiled the ending of the book. But, yeah, that's what I was like. That's uh, that's not, like, that. that's the first thing you think of when you read this book is, like, that that's what it is. And then it is. And then you go through the whole thing. And it's like, well, what was the point of that? Okay, hi from Poland. Hi. Hi, France. Hi, Brazil. Can't answer that. Hi, Spain. Hi. Japan has history. I would love to go to Japan. My brother and his girlfriend are going to Japan this year. Um, so maybe I will get tips from them and go do it myself. Shaquan! Oh my god. Hi, Shaquan. How are you? I miss you so much. Happy belated birthday, my love. I hope you're doing well. I, it's so good to see your little face on here. What's my favorite movie? Um, Garden State. Zach Braff, Natalie Portman, Zach Braff wrote, directed, and starred in it. It's, it's amazing and uh, makes me cry like a baby every time. And then um, I really love Hard Candy by Ellen Page. It's one of the films that is like the reason I started acting. Her performance in that is so stellar. Um, it's amazing. And every time I watch it, there's like something new. So I, those are my top two, probably, I would say. And Whiplash is amazing. Poland. Never been to Poland. I cannot answer that. I love that this person keeps asking this question. I can't answer you. <laughs> but I think you know the answer, but I can't answer it. Hi, Germany. How did I find out you're going to be in Shadowhunters? Um, so I was working the table reads. I, you know, Todd, Todd, Darren, Matt told me they were interested in finding a part for me on the show. I auditioned for a couple different parts. Um, I had lunch with Todd. He spoke to me about maybe Helen. Um, so I did an audition. I did a self-tape. And I basically got a call from my agent saying that I um, was on hold for the part, but that it had to be approved by the network. Um, so I was sitting at home, like anxiety-ridden for hours, um, waiting to hear if I had been approved by the network. And finally I got a call from my agent saying that um, that they had approved me that like Netflix Freeform everyone had had given the AOK -okay that it was my part and I was so excited and um, that night I went out for dinner with uh, Kat and Alberto and Dom I think Kat Alberto Dom and maybe Luke Kat Alberto Dom and Luke and we went out to celebrate and had dinner and um, it was really good it was nice it was a really good night um, yeah, it was lovely. Would you like to know Columbia? Yeah, I have a friend from Columbia. I went to school uh, with a girl from Columbia, and she's lovely, so I would love to. I know you can't spoil anything, but my friend doesn't have Instagram is asking if Sissy fans will be happy with 3B. Yep. I was writing the answer about a typical, but I don't have enough place on you. I'll send it to you on Twitter. Great. I would love to. I will I will look out for it. I'm, I'm actually really interested to have that conversation with you. What parts did you audition for? Um, I auditioned for a small part that was in, like, one one or two episodes. Um, that was, like, in in a ferry that um, was involved with, in John, like, with Jonathan. Um. And I got the part, but then they said, like, it's it's kind of a small role, and we kind of want to save you for something bigger. Um, so they nixed it. And then I auditioned for um, the adult Sealy Queen, which Kim got. Um, so I auditioned for that part. And then I auditioned for um, Helen. So those are, that's, that's those three. Yeah. What's my favorite type of music? I don't know. I'm, I have really weird music taste. I'm kind of, like, all over the place. I listen to, like, country music. I listen to, like, punk rock, like, old school, weird, emo, like, all over. The, it's really all over the place. Like, classic, like, blues, jazz. Like, it's truly all over the spectrum. What do I think about Kat? I think Kat is amazing. Um, she's so intelligent. Uh, she's so sweet. She's so hardworking. She's so humble. She's so kind um she's a really really wonderful girl i'm so happy uh for her with arrow i think she's gonna kill it um she deserves all the success in the world like she's 
she's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, cat's cat's one of a kind. She's always been that way. I've known. I knew her before Shadowhunters. I knew her um, from LA before, and she's always been that way. She's always been just like incredibly hardworking and dedicated, and so yeah, she she deserves the world. She's amazing. Hi, Russia. Can't answer that. Can you share your funniest audition story? Uh, listen, I just have a bunch of audition stories where I thought it was a train wreck, and either it was a train wreck or I then got the part. So I don't know if it's really that. For me, it was like a tragedy. I don't know if they're funny to you guys. I'll, I'll mull through them in my head if I get a good one. I'll share it. You really wanted to be a Sealy, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, they just thought I really looked like a Sealy. Because, yeah, I think every part... Yeah, I guess every part I auditioned for was either Sealy or half Sealy. Um, yeah, I guess they thought I, I was a Sealy. Looked like a Sealy to them. Do I love Ed Sheeran? I do. I love Ed Sheeran. I saw him in concert. It was one of the best concerts I've ever seen. He's amazing. Hi, hello. Just popping in. Ah, uh, Emily. Oh, my God. Hi, guys. This Emily. Emily's my oldest friend in the world. She's been my friend since I was nine years old. She's my favorite person in the world. Emily, hi. I love you. She's in Ireland right now, so I'm going to come to Ireland to at least visit her. I love you so much. I miss you so much. I hope you're having the best time in Ireland. Also, because it's a Q&A. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Always Waffles. Lacey from Twitter. I just got out of class. I vibe. Hi, Lacey. How are you? How's class? When's this date with this new boy, Lacey? You better give me those deets. I want to know. I want to know. Your ideal place to travel. Anywhere with really good history. I just want to learn. And like a different culture. I, I, that's just different from Canada. I want to I wanna meet new people and learn new things. My favorite color is blue. I love how often you say less before answering a question. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> you guys have to hear what I'm about to say. Uh, what kind of advice would you give people aspiring to be an actor? Make sure it's really what you love. Um, and take every opportunity to learn that you can. Every opportunity to learn that you can. Like... Try as much as possible to be the dumbest person in the room. You know, don't ever think that you can't learn from someone. Just take every opportunity to watch people and, and learn. And a lot of being an actor is being a human and, like, being able to be vulnerable and, and share your feelings and being able to read people. And So you have to work on, like, yourself as a person, too, to be a good actor, I think. Um, so... Yeah, you can work on things every single day to be an actor, but you have to do that. And, and a lot of the things you run into is like balancing the art and the business too once you get to that point. So there's a lot of things to think about. You know, if you've got specific questions, holler at me. But yeah, you do look silly. Thanks. Books or movies? Probably books. I'm a, I'm a real reader. Emily, I love you. Uh, the Clovers, stop. Oh, my God, you're so cute. I can't believe you're in Ireland. Why'd you leave me? Jeez. Whatever, I'm glad you're happy and in medical school and doing something with your life because you're so smart and you care about saving people's lives. Oh, God, why are you so perfect? Whatever. I love you. The date is on the weekend. I'm excited. Ooh, yay. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know where you're going? Is it where, how'd you meet this guy? Is this, uh, anyways, Lacey, I need the deets. What's going on? You better tell me. Favorite singer? I, I don't know. I really love Mariana's Trench. I think Josh Ramsey has, like, one of the best voices ever. His riffs are amazing, and he's an incredible songwriter. Um, people don't really listen to Mariana's Trench as much as they should, but I love them. <laughs> that was weird. So... I don't know, them, maybe. Do I have siblings? Yep, I got two older brothers. Which instruments can you play? I play the piano, I play the clarinet, uh, I played the flute, but I'm allergic to it, and I'm learning the violin. 
have no idea when the 3D trailer is coming out. I'll probably go on Twitter and I'll know it is out because you guys sent it to me. So, y'all are my source of news. I don't know what's going on. Would you rather see Lee Vampire Shadow Hunter or Werewolf? Probably Shadow Hunter. I don't know. We met on Tinder. He likes Taylor Swift, so he's perfect for me. <laughs> We're not 100% sure what we're doing yet. Oh, and he said, Aw, yay, that's awesome. I'm so excited for you. I hope it goes well. Malik or Glace? Malik. I mean, Glace is cute and all, but, like, Malik. You know? Um, yeah. I, I don't know, guys. Do I have tattoos? No. I don't have any tattoos. I won't ever get a tattoo. <sighs> Hello to the Big Moo Denver Sydney squad. What's up, guys? That's such an extra name. You guys are epic. Love it. Um, yeah. This is all melted now. Oh, God. It's not good. Mm. Can't answer that. I can't answer that. I can't. Can't answer it. I love the big booms. Guys, never mind, I'm not gonna ask you that. I don't know if I want to know the answer. Um, yeah, so you know, this is my life now. Um, Save this story so we can <laughs> give your shout out. Okay. I got you, boo. Do I know Spanish? Nope. Guys, I have no abilities. I don't know why you think. I say words that other people write for a living. That's my job. I don't. I can't. I can't speak other languages. I would love to. But I can't. What would Helen do if there was an alternate universe episode? I don't know. Maybe, like, go on a science exploration somewhere, you know? Should, like, go... Should be, you know? I feel like she'd be somewhere weird on, like, a... Like a science adventure with Aileen. Hi. One trait of Helen that's similar to you. Like, fiercely protective of the people that I love. Yeah, I'm a little overprotective. And Helen is, too. So, I think we have that in common. I, I'm, um, pretty nerdy, too. I think she's cooler than I am. But, yeah, pretty nerdy. I really didn't have any interest in doing the arts for a living. I, I wanted to go into science. Um, I had this amazing drama teacher, Mr. Karens, who opened up my mind a bit, and I fell in love with acting. We did a Shakespeare play every year, which I really loved. I, I loved Shakespeare. I loved the language of it. I fell in love with performing Shakespeare. I thought maybe I wanted to be a Shakespearean actress after, like, four or five years of doing plays there. Um... And in grade 8, we did Hamlet, and I played Ophelia, and I really loved that. And my parents, you know, saw that play and decided, like, oh, yeah, maybe this is something she could do. Um, so, 
grade 9, I went to a normal high school and I hated it. Um, so for grade 10, I moved to Toronto by myself. I, I moved out to Toronto and I went to a topical school for the arts. I auditioned for the topical school for the arts to be a drama major and I, I got in. So I moved to Toronto and I started going to an art school here and then I like was taking on camera acting classes and stuff on the weekends. I got an agent and I just kind of went from there. Um, I had a friend who had a TV show at the time and she kind of gave me some good advice. Um, she's got a show that's been on for like 10 years now and at the time it was in its first few seasons and she kind of helped me navigate that process of getting an agent and, and what that is. So she was very helpful and so we took baby steps and figured it out and yeah. Any book I loved recently? Um, I read a book called Just Mercy. It's a nonfiction book uh, about a, a criminal lawyer who um, his first case was a man who had wrongly been convicted and put on death row, um, and he ended up working a bunch of cases about people who had been sentenced to death unjustly. And it's uh, absolutely amazing. It's sad and it's um, kind of heavy about our about our justice system and the things that are broken. But it's it's an amazing book, and I think they're actually making a movie of it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's it's really good, and I would I would recommend it. I think it's a good read. Do I have brothers? Yeah, I got two older brothers. Do I like riddles? I love riddles. What was my first role? What was my first role? <laughs> I, there's two roles that I don't remember which one was first. Um, I think my first role was in an, like a docudrama show called Dangerous Persuasions. Um, I think that was my first part. I think Dangerous Persuasions was my first part. It was like Dangerous Persuasions slash like Brainwashed. There were two different names for the show. I don't know why. In different countries it had different names. And I, it was a docudrama. So we were reenacting this like horrible true story about this man who thought he was like talking to God and so basically held all these people in this combine. And yeah, it was interesting. Um, and then after that I did like an episode on Degrassi. Those are my first two roles, I think. I love Shakespeare. Yay, me too. Am I excited for Halloween? No. I don't like Halloween. I don't believe in Halloween. I think it's stupid. Cat's a little harsh. I don't think it's stupid. But I'm like a scary cat. And I'm a little paranoid as a person. And I just think, like, if you're going to kill someone, you would do it on Halloween, right? So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get murdered. So I don't like Halloween. What holiday do you like? Christmas is my favorite. I love Christmas. How old was I when I got my first role? 16, I think? I'm pretty sure I was 16. Halloween relatable. Honestly, it's over. It's over. It's overrated. I just don't get it. It's like all year you tell kids don't take candy from strangers. That's what you teach kids. And then on Halloween, it's like, just kidding. We'll take you to the stranger's house and they can give you candy. Like, hello, if you want to kill someone. Also, if you wanted to murder someone, you just dress up in a costume and you go kill someone. Then everyone would think it's like part of the evening because it's all horror. And then that person would be dead. And then they'd be like, oh, who killed him? And you'd be like, oh, the guy in the scream mask. And they would never find him because everyone's in a scream mask because it's Halloween. You know what I mean? Like, it's just reckless. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'm a little paranoid. Clearly I am. But it freaks me out a little bit. I'm not into it. I don't want to die. Do I like Nightmare Before Christmas? I do. That movie's friggin' brilliant. It's a really good movie. Your brain went overdrive over Halloween. Oh, yeah. The amount of times I've gone on rants about why Halloween how Halloween is reckless and, like, I don't want any part on it. It's quite a lot. Yeah, it gets to me. It's a sensitive subject. Anyways, um, this is about to kick me off in, like, 15 seconds. So, thank you guys for joining and saying hi. Um.